Singapore means many things to many people. To Sir Stamford Raffles, who founded a settlement there in 1819 and later acquired the whole island for the East India Company, it meant opportunity. To the British forces of World War II, it meant disaster, though they retook it without opposition in 1945. To the merchant, Singapore means wealth. Its harbour is one of the greatest trading centres in the world, with exports of copra, hides, pineapples, rubber, spices, tapioca and tin. To the tourist it means fascination, the fascination of meeting people like these, and of sights like this. Our means of transport was more modern, as you can see. The tourist remembers the cheap jacks, the eating stalls, he remembers the maze of crowded streets that make up Chinatown. The river with the sampans. He will remember this Chinese temple with its gaudy colors and weird forms. And just look at the marvelous detail. The Singapore site that every tourist goes to see and remember was the creation of an eccentric Chinese millionaire. Come into his nightmare garden, you'll see hundreds of enormous brightly coloured animals made of stone and plaster. Truly a garden of horrors, and don't the customers love it? Here's Boris Karloff. Time and we hope you won't dream of the mad menagerie of fabulous Singapore. Plastic Venice of Asia, her golden pagodas and her fabulous palaces are reflected in canals crowded with sampans. Golden, radiant, mysterious, Bangkok displays in the heart of the jungle her pageantry of the 1001 nights. Many temples are guarded by monsters and spirits, and the city is the religious capital of Southeast Asia, which for 15 centuries has been the home of the living Buddha. Canals comprise one third of the town's surface. Fantastic plants as well as temples. This is the insect eating pitcher plant. And this, the bird of paradise flower. A 
playful whip snake, seven feet long, makes the gibbon, by contrast, look solemn. The animals are a reminder of Bangkok's nearness to the timeless jungle. But time does not stand still in Thailand, although they say the clock walks while we say it runs. They also say in their idiom that an aeroplane walks. The important thing is that Thailand moves ahead, its vigorous heart beating in beautiful Bangkok.